Hi there, wig lover. This is Heather from SisterWigs.com, and this is a review of the Cubana wig by Belle Tress, and the color I'm wearing is Cola with Cherry. Now, I know firsthand that Belle Trust loves wigs in this style. They make a ton of wigs that are this length, approximately shoulder length, about 12 to 14 inches in range. bread and butter. So a lot of the model picks for their wigs tend to look identical um, because they're just a similar length. They just have various cap constructions and curl patterns. So my hope is, is that if you take a look at this in just this review and don't compare it to any of the other Beltra styles, you'll see that Cubana has a lot of personality and that she's really cute all on her own. Before I get ahead of myself, I'd like to ask you to please subscribe. Uh, I really appreciate it when folks subscribe and click the little bell so that way they don't miss any of my videos and they can join in the conversation in the comments for all of those videos. I think that it's really interesting for me as a wig reviewer to get your perspective on what you think of the things that I'm showcasing and how I'm showcasing them. I would love to hear your thoughts. So let me show you what Cubana hair looks like on all sides. Probably one of my favorite little mid-length bell tress wigs. She's got a lot of really lovely soft layering. This one is not extreme in the slightest. She's just a really beautiful bob. You could even consider this a lob. The front is just as long as the rest of it. She has this beautiful sort of soft curl thrown in throughout. She has a lace front that goes from temple to temple. She has generous ear tabs. I'm wearing a little bit of uh, beauty tape here on the sides and you can barely see that because the coverage on this wig is so good even with my average large cap size. There's what the top of this one looks like. She's a little flat on top so if you're not real cool with a wig that doesn't have a ton of permatease you may want to move on. I think that, that this one looks pretty stunning with this kind of curl, this texture. This is a heat friendly synthetic wig. So you could either consider that a giant negative or kind of an interesting plus. It's negative, let's get that out of the way because heat friendly synthetic fiber tends to accumulate static energy, doesn't discharge it very well and that results in clumping. So a wig at this length will clump, it totally will. But that could kind of be a good thing if you want the wig to look piecey, like you've put product in it without actually having to put product in it. Because the more you play with it, the more static will accumulate in the fibers and the more it'll look like you put hairspray in it, even if you didn't. That's kind of a plus if you think about it that way. Now, if you're the sort of person where you want everything to look really smooth and in place all the time, nothing in a heat friendly synthetic is probably going to appeal to you because that clumping tendency is going to throw the possibility of it looking really smooth and sleek basically out the window even if you straighten this one. And you can straighten this one because it's heat friendly. The fiber feels really, really good and the cap fit on Bell Trust Wigs is very generous. This is very comfortable on me and I have a 23 and a half inch cap circumference so that means she'll fit big if you have a petite, average, or smaller cap size. So let me show you what the interior of Cubana by Beltress looks like. Cubana by Beltress has a lace front that goes from temple to temple. On each side, it's going to also have felt covered ear tabs with a little bit of metal. That metal comes in handy because it helps you keep the wig flush up against the sides of your head. So you don't have like a little flag going all day, alerting people to the fact that you're wearing a wig. Here on the sides, you can see there's a generous band of elastic. I think this brand kind of fits average large because you get a lot of stretch. So if you need a little bit of extra material around the circumference to be comfortable, this is a great brand to try. I would also say that a Gabor by and large fits a little big too, and they're also quite comfortable. 
Back here, you're gonna have a felt covered nape that is not extended. So you can see that there. And then you can see these sides are identical. The only thing that's different here is the top. And this particular wig has a center part. It is a center lace part, but you get a generous parting area there. And unlike fashion wigs, like the kind you'll find on Amazon and stuff like that, this has a pre-cut glueless transparent lace front. And when I put it back on, kind of hone in on how that sort of melts into my skin there. This is gonna be really great for all ladies except those who have the darkest of complexions. And that's not that hard either because it's pre-trimmed. You can just kind of use some makeup and blend it in. And there's another look at that lace front on me. You can kind of see where the cap construction meets the lace front, but if you just let the hair fall, eh, no big deal. This is a cutie. So I like this one. I give her a thumbs up. How about you? Thumbs up, thumbs down. What do you, what do you say, folks? Let me know by voting on this one. Um, again, I'm Heather. I'm from Sister Wigs, the only store on the web that is tailor-made for women with polycystic ovary syndrome and the androgenic alopecia that results from that in a lot of cases. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, check me out. I've also lost like 111 pounds. I don't really gloat about it that often because I've chronicled the whole thing. So most of the people who have been here a while know that I used to be almost 300 pounds. So if you're intrigued by that, make sure you check out my vertical gastric sleeve diary that is also on my channel. So uh, I'd like to end this video with a moment of gratitude. I'd like to thank Dr. Alvarez in Mexico for my gastric sleeve for helping me lose 111 pounds since I mentioned it. He's here on YouTube. His stuff is great. So that's how I found him actually was on YouTube. I figured what's good for the goose is good for the gander. And if I'm shopping around, YouTube's a great place. Just like for my customers, it's a great place for you guys to find the latest and greatest in hair. I figured body mods, sure, why not? Our friends at Moon Kitty Mix Up and our Instagram page. If you follow me on Instagram, thank you. That's super awesome, because I like to try to give everybody a heads up and a sneak peek of what I'm reviewing on our Instagram page first. Instagram is really easy compared to YouTube because you can just go click with their phone and stick it up on the web and it's good to go. I don't Photoshop the images, so it's a really quick process. But here on YouTube, you know, we gotta shoot it, we gotta color correct it, we have to edit it. It's a lot of work and it takes a lot of time. Um, and even when I had help, which I don't this season, uh, it was a lot of effort just to organize all the files because they're massive. So uh, I wanted to say thank you for watching because it gives me a reason to do that. And also thank you to our patrons on Patreon for helping me afford to be able to do all this stuff, to try new things with my look and my makeup and to help report on that stuff to you guys. I really appreciate you being here and hanging out with me and I hope you have a great night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.